Hey, what's going on everybody? This your boy James from What's Your Forte. And as you can see, I'm back in the Thick Garage. Got my boy Thick Wiz with me right here. And got the G80 in here. And if you could look right there on the wall, we got Souvenir on the wall right there. And the reason why is because Souvenir and the team over there sent me out these carbon seat backs. So we're gonna go ahead and get that installed done today. Um, it's gonna be super easy. John's gonna be installed on one side. I'm gonna be installed on the other side. And we're gonna be getting to it, all right? So let's get it. Alright everyone, so here are the seat backs. These seat backs are full replacements. So I know if y'all saw my other video, I just had like the top 3M stick ohms. These are full replacements. So if you're looking for a full replacement for the back to add some bling on the interior of a car, definitely, definitely check these out. Um, got like I said, you can get these from Souvenir. They're actually made by Denman Carbon. They make some pretty good stuff here. And they actually sent me out this really cool keychain. It's like a carbon fiber M3 cutout keychain which is really, really dope, looks really good. But these are full back replacements, as you can kind of see right there. The carbon looks good, man. It is a nice piece of carbon. And it's a full replacement. We're gonna be going over the full install today. It's pretty quick, pretty simple, pretty easy. So again, special shout out to Souvenir, the team over there. I'll be linking it down below where you can find it. And also special shout out to Thick Whips right there. If y'all see that shirt he's wearing, that shirt looks good, man. Look at that. Hold on, look at him from head to toe. Boy, swaggy out here. Ooh. All right, guys, so what you gotta do is move your seat all the way forward, and you kinda wanna have it sitting kind of vertical so you make sure you can get underneath it. I mean, if you look very closely, they got these two little tabs right here. Um, not really tabs, they're maybe so covers. So you wanna use probably a plastic trim tool so you don't wanna scratch up the back of this. And you kinda just wanna get in there a little bit. And then after you can get underneath it, you can kind of just work it a little bit. And then you should be able to pop it right off, as you can kind of see right there. And they're just they're real plastic, got a little soft um, fabric on the back. But yeah, so and then you have this hole here. So there's actually a screw after you take off the cover, and it's actually gonna be a T20. So you're gonna take your screwdriver right there, your T20, slide it right up in there and then just unscrew it. Shout out to Thick Whips on the, the camera. Getting these, getting these sick angles for you guys. Steady hands. <laughs> you got it? Boom. There you go. And then it just comes right out. And we're gonna do the same thing on this one right here. At this point, it is unscrewed and we're ready to take the seat back completely off. All right, everyone, so this is the actual back of the carbon seat back. And you see these little clips right here? This is what we're gonna have to remove and how we have to pull the seat back towards us and up at like an angle um, in order to get the stock seat off. And you'll push this on the same exact way. So they really built this exactly like the OEM seat back. So it makes it a super easy install. So definitely shout out to the Denman Carbon Group and also Souvenir. All right, everyone, so <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and work these seat backs off. So what you wanna do is kind of work from the bottom. I kind of want to take both hands and kind of get underneath it and you'll feel the clips um, loosen right there. So you'll be able to have that off and you see how it kind of moves here. There's a little bit of, here it sounds like a little bunch of little M3 tape right here. So you kind of just peel that off a little bit and then once you get that off, boom. Pops right off. Pops right off. So it actually isn't, M, it wasn't, wasn't um, 3M tape. It was just kind of this fabric back yeah, here. Yeah, I think it was just stuck to the fabric. So you kind of look right there, those little clips, see those little, Yes. things were stuck in the seat there and then you have these little clips up here but that's it man easy yeah easy peasy easy pie <laughs> so now we'll take this out and we'll put the carbon seat backs on all right everyone so this is the carbon seat back here so we're going to start at the top and then work our way down so make sure to get this seat that out of the way kind of start at the top up here and you'll kind of see how it just needs to fit there huh? so you'll kind of push down on it Make sure everything's clearance up the top. And then I'll push it in at the bottom. Nice. Give it a nice little 
Get them shoulders, get them shoulders right. Are you playing football? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, man. <laughs> Looks like it's in there, so now we just got the caps at the bottom and the screws, and we should be good to go. Look at the difference. Man. That and that. Dang, that looks yeah. good. Terrible. This is this. this. Woo. Yeah. Does this fit? So this fits the M4s too, right? So they he is coming out with the M4 version. Oh, okay. Because the M4s actually have a door handle here, so you can oh, move the seat up. So okay. he did. I did look at the re video they had made before with Studio RSR, and um, he said they are coming out with the M4 version. So right now, currently, these ones right here are only from the M3. Mm -hmm. Good. Look at that. And you're going to be able to see these too. Oh yeah, those definitely. Especially in a sedan. Mm -hmm. You have to leave those back windows down. Oh yeah, all, all the all time. <laughs> that's, that's why I didn't go with dark tint. <laughs> yes sir. Cool. Yeah, you can see the difference, man. I mean, it looks so good. All right, so they did include new hardware with their kit, which is these silver pieces right here. So I'm actually going to reuse. So if you do care and you want this not to be super invisible, um, you can get some black ones or you can paint these. Mm -hmm. But um, so I'm just going to reuse these darker screws that um, John actually had on hand. So we're going to reuse those, uh, but still reuse the stock washer that they sent with us. But if you want to get a black washer, you definitely can. So this is actually a Phillips head. So any regular small Phillips head screwdriver will be able to screw this in. So you want to take this and actually put it right there and then you'll be able to put the screw through. So you go like that, kind of feed into where the stock location is. And let's see if I can find that thread there. There it goes. Yep. And take the screwdriver, go in there. Get that washer lined up. Probably screw a little more. All right, so the reason why we had to use the washer is because the stock backs, there's this little clip right here on the stock backs that goes into the stock back seat holders. So we don't have that on the carbon seat, so you have to put this washer and screw in in order to hold it from the bottom so your actual carbon seat back won't just fly off. Mm -hmm. You know, you go hard braking to hit a track and your seat backs go flying off. <laughs> you know, people are like, what's going on with your car? What's going yeah. on? So kind of have the washer to put it there just to kind of hold it in place. And one good thing about this too is once the seat is down, of course you can see it now, once the seat is down and into a regular drive position, um, which we'll show you after we move the seat back, you won't be able to see these. No one's gonna be able to see it, no one's gonna be able to feel it, you know, so. They're just kind of there just to hold the seat in. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and put this other one in. Screw, washer. There you go. It's kind of tough because I can't really see where the hole is at. There it is. Ah, first try. <laughs> Nailed. Perfect. Yeah, they're not going anywhere. So, seat backs are on, washer, screw, and we're good to go. Just like that. Yeah. Looks amazing. You guys can see the full difference here. Yeah, wow. And the carbon matches the OEM carbon really well too, up yeah. front. Yeah, it definitely does. It kind of like ties everything together. So what I'm gonna do now is move the seat back. I can kind of see what it looks like in the stock location. Mm -hmm. Yep, can't even see the silver. No, nope. you won't see it at all. So, and also this head rest does move up and down. So let's move it up and down. No restriction. That's nice. I didn't realize it. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs>
out everyone so as y'all saw right there those are the carbon seat backs if you want to pick these up i'll be linking them down below you can get them from souvenir appreciate souvenir for sending these out appreciate john for doing some videoing for me right there definitely go subscribe to his channel let's get him to 100k real quick all right so Again, these carbon seat backs are made by Denman, distributed by Souvenir. Link will be down below. And I think they look good, man. Fitment was pretty good, and they look good too, man. So if y'all want, y'all gonna be at the Cars and Coffee, any car shows local in the area, come check them out, all right? So that's gonna be today's video, and we'll holler at you guys later. Peace.